the Department for Community Development and Religion, in partnership with UN Women and European Union, with assistance of the CIMC, hopes to do a complete review of the existing national policy on informal economy 2011 to 2015. UN Women Country Representative Caroline Nyamayemombe said the informal economy is more than half of the productive population of the country. We would like to really appreciate the leadership that has come from community development in getting the government to attend to the informal part of the economy because it is too significant to be ignored. Acting Department Secretary Jerry Ubase said there is chaos and gap between the informal and the formal sector and the four consultative workshops must strengthen and create pathways for the national and sub-national governments to participate in development process and transition between the two. Government support to informal economy has been uh, below the aspiration of the national economic policy and this government is serious about empowering and protecting the lives of our marginalized uh, uh, population. As, as a department, we would like to see partnership with all stakeholders to implement the informal economy policy and the voice mechanism strategy. Acting Deputy Secretary for the department, Warren Marape gave thought-provoking questions to set the tone for the discussions for the workshop. Uh, five years later, we're trying to review that, and I think the political environment at the moment, the economic condition is very right for us to start discussing about the informal economy at the moment. The informal economy contributes around 4 billion kina to the GDP of the country, according to the Informal Sector Study 2018, which was led by Dr. Jane Stanley from UN Women. Dr. Jane Stanley also was the lead facilitator in this workshop, and she joined on Zoom from Adelaide, Australia. Frida Kana, TV One News.